everyone, I am Tacit, and today I'm going to be going over the new Gems of War Mythic Troop of Tina 9000. It is available in the Glory Gem Guild and VIP chest for this week only, and then they'll be in the drop table with everything else. And we're going to be trying to go and get it from a bunch of keys, but before we do, let's just go and uh, peek at it real quick. So, it is basically a second slot troop. It is somewhat set up to be first slot, just uh, but because it doesn't have any barrier or any way to really protect it properly without using a whole another troop to do so you pretty much just have to put it in second second third or fourth most likely second just so that it can end up using its final trait but essentially what it is is it is three separate instances that randomly hit the enemy of uh pure true damage so this could potentially be very lethal if it ends up hitting the same thing multiple times it's also going to be particularly good within teams that are based around true damage so if your entire team is true damage, this could potentially be something that you could slot into it. It also then gains a really high amount of armor once it finally gets uh, fully upgraded, which will be pretty decent. The main thing that's really noteworthy about it is 50% spell reduction, which will allow it to be very resistant against basically all forms of casting. And other than that, it has 50% of its armor as skull damage. So if it has something like 80 armor, which it probably will by design against max, uh, that's going to be 40 whole additional damage on top of how much it would already be doing. So there's a lot of damage potential with this trip, not just through casting, but also through skulls. A little mix match though, because half of it's physical, half of it's true damage. It doesn't have any mana accumulation, doesn't have any barrier to protect that. And spell reduction doesn't really do you much good in first slot, which is a little bit of a weird mix, but still a somewhat decent troop overall. Uh, probably above average as far as mythics are concerned, but ever so barely. It's probably still worth skipping, but if you have more than half the mythics in the game, you're still probably going to want to go for it. Uh, with that being said, let's go and try to go for it. We have uh, quite an excess of keys this time around, so hopefully we get it pretty early and just maintain our excess. That, or we're going to go through the entire stack here, do it 50 at a time just so it takes a little bit longer. Oh, one other noteworthy thing, Tesla. Uh, Tesla is going to be insanely good with this troop. Unfortunately, it's not a mech, but it is from the same kingdom, and the type of true damage that it does, which is split boosted based on armor on everything within the battle, uh, it's going to be particularly good synergy with this troop since they both distribute damage in a relatively similar way. Uh, they both do more damage the more troops that have died on the opposing team, and they both concentrate their damage, and it's all both uh, true damage. So there's a lot of synergy between Tesla and the new uh, Mythic that just came out. If we could ever actually get it, I think we did need more copies of Lust, so the yay. Another one to go for the pile. King Bloodhammer, great Doom Skull spamming troop, not what we need though. Mimu, uh, double silence doesn't really synergize with much though. Hydra is just useless, they need to buff that. Uh, Behemoth Borealis, also pretty irrelevant for the most part. Uh, oh, Kraken, that's a nice devour. Uh, Shagra has seen better days. <laughs> what do we have? Medea, I still need plenty of copies of her, so that's good. Get a lot of things mythic, except for the actual mythic. Though we've already burned through several hundred. Another Willow, I think we still need copies of that thing. Another Nimue, another... Oh, gee, we didn't get a silent one yet, but... Pretty useless these days. Umber Wolf is great for soul farming teams. Well, rip every single gem we had. Bye, gems. Yeah, I had a feeling this stack wouldn't last forever. We're almost to the uh, 1,000. And we still have not found the mythic. Dun, dun, dun. In here somewhere. It's King Salinas. Forest Guardian. We're getting all the 50% starting uh, bonuses. There we go. There's the Tina. And it took us a little over 1,000 keys. So let's go get this thing upgraded and use it in a team real quick. So yeah, it looks like about 1,100. I think it took us that time around. Summer's around there. Uh, don't go for this upgrade. It is a complete waste. Uh, though, however, they do have a daily deal thing. They've been running these a lot this year. I guess it's their way to try to get in a little bit more revenue for the game. But uh, they've been pretty good recently. And I mentioned uh, when it was $2 for 100 gems that it was pretty decent value. But now you get the exact same thing, but you get a free Orba Clans. Orba Clans is interesting. Uh, if you're buying this early on in the game or mid-game, it might only be worth about 15 glory keys. Uh, you need to have your guild to about 20,000 or 40,000 total seals before you'd really want to use your uh, seals. But um, if you do it at around 20,000, they're basically glory keys. And if you do it at 40,000, they're basically gem keys. So, um, yeah, $2 for 100 gems and 15 glory keys isn't that bad. And if you're uh, buying it a little bit later in the game or you're in a guild guild, 100 gems and 15 gem keys is insanely good value for uh, two dollars so yeah this pack for once is uh, pretty decent this time around so might want to consider if you do need a little bit more resources relatively cheap you could buy it five times anyways trip let's go and upgrade the thing 
So, uh, we can't get it by unowned anymore, so I guess we have to go to Adana would be the easiest way. Very first kingdom in the list, and where on earth did it go? Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> I didn't notice it because it was mythic. I was speaking about it being mythic. Uh, let me go and use our smaller orbs on it. So we'll do the very first trait, use the two small orbs, and we'll just use a big green to go get it fully uh, leveled up. So we'll use two smalls, don't accidentally use a bigger one. Probably need those for when we start crafting power orbs. And then we'll start using just the big uh, green there. And there we go. Okay. So it didn't even cost us any resources other than some smaller orbs. And now let's go mess with this thing. Put it into a team real quick. We'll be experimenting around with this on streams and stuff over the weekend and today. But for now, we'll just go with this one team and see how it fends. Uh, I'm going to actually skip freeze for now. And I. Okay. Can we find anything that's normal? <laughs> Every single team these days is like, nope as some kind of really trollish mechanic. I guess this is fine. We're probably going to get devoured by that, but we do have uh, some immunity. We'll see. Uh, we don't really get to show off... Um, I want something that has spell damage so that we could kind of show the 50% reduction as to... There we go. There's a somewhat normalish team. We'll go with this one. Okay, so we'll go with this. So we're running with Mechanist Hero Class using Mountain Crusher, Tina, Tesla, and Dracos1337. Unfortunately, this team isn't pure mech. Tesla is not actually a mech, even though I really wish she was. Uh, would be very useful, but uh, everything starts with half mana on this team, except for her. I'll easily be able to get it just by casting uh, Mountain Crusher. So right off the bat, we're just going to want to take pretty much every brown on the board, get that up, throw down Mountain Crusher, and go from there. So I have Dracos 1337. Not really an option that's ran too often, but it is somewhat decent in this team. For one, it covers the rest of the color. Uh, colors for the other reason being that it has a 25% chance to instant kill and both of these troops like having less troops on the opposing team as they can concentrate their damage better and other than that we're basically just using it as a standard mana drainer it has silence stun and uh, mana drain combination it technically also has a magic reduction uh, though that's very rarely going to come into game but essentially uh, we have a, a combination of two different spell reduction troops essentially is what's going on here uh, but we don't really have much of a need to go for this yet. I guess actually, no, I lied. Uh, let's go for Ragnagord. Get that out the way. Didn't get a kill, but he silenced and uh, can't really do anything now. So, this thing. We could do very, very high amounts of random true damage as you can see here. 56 armor gain. That is very large. Uh, unfortunately, this damage is very inconsistent on this ability. But, uh, you can see it just double hit on the one. It is possible to double hit. It's even possible to triple hit. So it can get a lot of damage now, and even if you just hit the minimum, you're pretty much one-shotting anything uh, with the triple hit. It doesn't have any board control, so you can't really spam it or anything, but if you just have a proper mana generator like Mountain Crusher or Golfa, or really just anything, it should be fine. So we got a Tesla there, and as you can see, it just wipes out the rest of the team. And um, yeah, it's not too bad. You'd always want to throw the, um, the Tina first before you bother going for the other option, the main reason being is uh, Tesla with boost ratio off the armor that you'll end up getting from Tina's cast. So you might as well cast her second because you'll get slightly more damage if you do so. But we'll take that down. Uh, I need to go find a brown here. So we'll take that for now. If he takes us with a skull, it won't really matter. Uh, we do start with barrier. Uh, this thing also has skulls or damage on skulls. We have 20% on this. Not as much, obviously, as the mythic. But uh, the mythic does end up getting to do 50,000. Highly doubt you would ever specifically use it in first slot for that reason. More so second slot, and then when your first slot dies, you would then start to have it activated. And by then, you'd probably have like over 100, over 200 armor, since you would have casted Tina at least once, if not multiple times uh, by that point. But for now, we'll just take that down. Uh, didn't get our full mana there, a little unfortunate. We'll take a brown, get both of them up, throw down Tina, throw down Mountain Crusher, go from there. So it looks like we got a solid double kill there, get rid of its barrier. He does have that one trait that barriers them every single time they uh, uh, end up uh, dying on one of their allies. So let me go and drain him. Actually, he's even worth draining him. We can just kill it right now with uh, Tina. Oh, no. No, we can't because it just barriered up. Wait, why did it? Oh, I see. Oh, that's a little bit unfortunate. I didn't realize that till just now, maybe because we just started using it. But it seems Tina targets its targets prior to it actually doing damage which is slightly bad then because that means if it ends up getting a kill with one of its hits it will not redirect one of its hits to a different target that seems to be what it's doing it's uh, preemptively choosing what its targets will be even if it's going to overkill whatever that target is that's a little bit unfortunate that does make her a little bit weaker but overall pretty nice oh yeah also we have a battle crusher now that ends up coming in uh, I forget exactly what it's for. I think it's for souls or glory. We're about to find out, though. 
But uh, yeah, for whatever reason, I actually don't even know why. But we have Phoenicia as our, I guess for spring? Is it spring yet? I don't think it's spring yet. But um, yeah, we have um, uh, Phoenicia here. I believe she just gives some extra glory or something. Gives extra something. Okay, we'll go and uh, it's actually the first time I believe they had a Mythic as a Battle Crasher as well. I'll throw this down. I kind of want brown first, but there's no way to take it. So we just triple hit. <laughs> well, she's gone. That uh, that works. Okay, not what I was expecting. But as you can see, it can triple hit the exact same target. So that's pretty nice. I'll just get rid of his ability. Uh, I didn't kill. I highly doubt we'll ever kill. It's not really there for to kill. It's mainly for mana drain. If it kills, it's nice. But that's not the whole reason why we have it. We just denied every brown it has. We'll take a purple for now. Uh, Brown, where are you? We need to get this team rolling. Uh, okay, we'll take a uh, purple for now. Don't really have many options there. Uh, let's see. He's going to get Divinish Bala. I can't really stop that. Uh, I guess we'll just have to take a red for now. Actually, you know what? Let's grab that skull. We'll at least get rid of his barrier. Also, so he doesn't hit us. But now we can go explode a bunch. As long as Hero doesn't die here, it should be okay. And I don't think it's going down. We need to get a lot of damage right here. And he does not get enough, so we'll just explode everything. Uh, probably throw down another drain as we'll be needing it in a moment. He gets uh, cleansed. That's not good. Get another brown. Luckily, just sitting there. And we'll go for our explosion again. That should hopefully be full mana. Yes, it is. Okay. So, Tesla, you need to go get full mana too. What are you doing? Okay. So, let's go drain it. Hopefully, get a kill here too. Would make it very convenient. Fortunately, once again, no kill. I'm going to go for this. Try to get uh, the last bit of mana that we need there. And now that should be matched. We just throw Tina down. Uh, we'll have an absurd amount of armor here. And if this thing was, if our first slot was to die, which at this point, which should almost just kill out, uh, that is 107 additional damage. That is a total of 156 damage per skull if our hero was to die and this thing was to be our next first slot. Or, you know, or once it dies, it would start doing skull damage. But yeah, 156 damage per skull. That is not too bad. Uh, plus, it just keeps going higher, assuming it doesn't actually take damage to its armor. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually have any barrier. No mechs can really do barrier that well, if at all, other than, like, Hero. And, okay, she is 5 glory, by the way. Uh, that's nice. And, um, yeah, there's just no proper way to really protect it if it is up front. But if you put it in second, just let your hero die. By the time it dies, you're just going to have something easily in the hundreds as far as how much skull damage it could do. But anyways, guys, that'll wrap it up for now. Just wanted to go and open up the new Mythic, show it a little bit and all that. We'll be doing it on this stream today at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, as well as uh, tonight, tomorrow, and uh, just overall through this weekend, just messing around, see what kind of teams we can do with it, and just seeing how viable it actually is. As far as how good it is, um, it seems decent. Definitely really good synergy with Tesla, that's for sure. Uh, a little bit annoying that it seems to preemptively choose its targets, because I believe the other option that Canon from Blackhawk. I don't think it, I think it retroactively like retargets, whereas this mythic doesn't, which is a little bit uh, bad, but uh, still a lot of damage overall. Uh, very random in what it will do, but it's very, very easy at securing kills since obviously true damage hits through all the armor and you'll be able to kill a lot quicker. But um, yeah, fun trip to have. Definitely really good with obviously uh, mech upgraded, ideally fully maxed though, as long as you have it fully traded, that's the main thing because it ends up giving all mechs half mana. But yeah, it's a okay mythic. Uh, as far as getting it, it's uh, definitely just slightly above average. It's not something you would run in delves. It's mainly just a fun thing for PvP, maybe Guild Wars, uh, but it might be a little bit too inconsistent. But still overall, pretty fun troop. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you all later. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, everyone. And best of luck with the uh, all the keys. Glory Gem Guild and VIP Chess, if you're going to be trying to open to try to get her. Goodbye, everyone.